The Eye Translated by Bhikkhu Sujato So I have heard. At one time the Buddha was staying near Sarvati in Jeta's Grove, an Arthur Pindika's monastery. Then Venerable Rahula went up to the Buddha, bowed, sat down to one side and said to him, Sir, may the Buddha please teach me the Dhamma in brief. When I've heard it, I'll live alone, withdrawn, diligent, keen and resolute. What do you think, Rahula? Is the I permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But if it's impermanent, is it suffering or happiness? Suffering, sir. But if it's impermanent, suffering and perishable, is it fit to be regarded thus, this is mine, I am this, this is myself? No, sir. Is the ear permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But if it's impermanent, is it suffering or happiness? Suffering, sir. But if it's impermanent, suffering and perishable, is it fit to be regarded thus, this is mine, I am this, this is my self? No, sir. Is the nose permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But if it's impermanent, is it suffering or happiness? Suffering, sir. But if it's impermanent, suffering and perishable, is it fit to be regarded thus, this is mine, I am this, this is myself? No, sir. Is the tongue permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But if it's impermanent, is it suffering or happiness? Suffering, sir. But if it's impermanent, suffering and perishable, is it fit to be regarded thus, this is mine, I am this, this is myself? No, sir. Is the body permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But if it's impermanent, is it suffering or happiness? Suffering, sir. But if it's impermanent, suffering and perishable, is it fit to be regarded thus, this is mine, I am this, this is myself? No, sir. Is the mind permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But if it's impermanent, is it suffering or happiness? Suffering, sir. But if it's impermanent suffering and perishable, is it fit to be regarded thus, this is mine, I am this, this is myself? No, sir. Seeing this, a learned noble disciple becomes disillusioned with the eye, the ear, the nose, the tongue, the body and the mind. Being disillusioned, they become dispassionate. Being dispassionate, they're freed. When freed, they know it is freed. They understand rebirth is ended. The spiritual journey has been completed. What had to be done has been done. There is no return to any state of existence. 